Uh, no, that was for the... Um, we don't really use it now, but in the early days, um, we had the ability to talk to the cars via a modem, oh, which okay. 15 years ago was stunning technology. Oh. So we could do diagnosis over yeah. the telephone. We don't need it now. Uh, but you plug the modem in there, and you mm -hmm. press that button wow. in order to make the connection. But the only one you need is this chap here, which is the battery charger connection. And uh, the luggage you just roll out. Okay, so you take this case out first and then slide that one along to clear this and pull that one out. Take this one out first? Take this one out first. Okay, okay that's good, that's good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Take this one out first. Okay. You don't have to go on the way Here we go. Here we go. And you've got the chassis number of the car wow. on the luggage there. Oh, man. You take this one out and you slide that one along to get it past this little notch here. Right. And then you can slide that one out too. Brilliant. They're a tight fit, deliberately, so they well, slide sure they around. Are. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have a, a, a file or something with the owner's name in it. Yes. Okay. And do you have like well, things? You have, a, you have an owner's manual. Do I have one? You will have one in the car, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to open it up. Yeah. And then, of course, I got a copy of my bill of sale from mm -hmm. the auction house. Do you have like a file that has the original owner's um, bill of sale and things like that? And like his, does he have, like, does he have a file that he got from the car? I know he wants to keep his name anonymous and all that, but does he have any? Uh, I have to ask his permission to give you that. Thank you. He can blank out his name. He can wipe that out. Okay. Of I would love to have everything he has regarding the automobile, and I'll I give him my word that his name is anonymous. I don't even want to know who it is. We'll just wipe it out. Okay, it's for really whether he wants to. How do you know how much he pays for it, I guess? No, well, I'd, uh, I'd like to be. I would like to know. <laughs> but I'm sure it's over a million dollars. I mean, it wasn't for me. Um, and then there'll be some requirements that I'll need. I'll need like six pictures of the car from different different angles, but that's not a big deal. I need a, a picture of the odometer, the new one for set. That's what we need. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, I the going for the Shelby Space Station. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm just we chip. You don't have to take that. Now. Okay. I don't, you know, I don't have to do that. Now. You're right. Okay. We're good. Uh, I don't think I need much anything. I think I think I'm talking about driver's license somewhere else. Probably the title. I'm not sure. Well, that's the tool kit in the um, toolbox. Yeah, okay, hang on a second. Let's back up. Here's your owner's manual. Okay. Uh, that's so enough. we can re reinstall this? Yeah, in a second. Wait a minute. Let's just put this right in some of the stuff. I'd like to get a fancy one for now. Um, in this uh, case, which lives in that luggage locker, you've got your service book. Okay. That's what I'm running on. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's see. The first page gives the details of the car. That's the VIN? Yeah. Yeah, yeah signed by Gordon Murray. So that yeah. was when it was wow. made. And there's the uh, various. Um, uh, this was a maintenance. labor of love. Yeah. This is pure devotion. Yeah. yeah. Four court maintenance uh, information. Spinning out the screen washer, that sort of stuff. I won't go through that page by no, page. No. Um, and do that's probably a, I mean, I'll, I'll, I will go through it yeah. with a fine tooth comb. You don't have to the do that. What I wanted now. to get to was the service sheets. Okay. So the service sheets are filled in uh, 2004, 2008. So this is the service that we did just before it went to auction. Okay. All right. So that, that's the service record. And underneath this book, Thank you. We have the owner's manual. So, hand filled in when the car was built with all the serial numbers and the pedal positions we've just been looking at today. Um, all the stuff. Oh, this is the car, it's just the side of the park, so uh, we go. That's how we get in and get out. All right. And you see, we've got the guy with all the white and yellow. Yeah, we've really yeah. it. He's the, he's the crash test dummy. He's the crash test dummy. It's far away. And there's all the control people going through that day. It is Halloween, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we crash test dummy for Halloween. So 
I think all the stuff that we've been through happened. Like there was a Formula One race car. They don't have Formula One race cars. That was not one. So that's your owner's manual, which lives here. Perfect. So if you wanted to, you could take this case with you. Let's just keep. Well, let's just keep everything together. Okay, fine. Is that terrible to say that? Or should, no, I, take, no, or should I take it with me? It's up to you. I'll it's tell you what. Let's do. Uh, that's the only thing you got. You got plenty of time to study it. It, uh, that's the tool kit and the titanium, titanium tools, right? No, the titanium thing? tools live in the front of the car. Oh, okay. And, and we don't have to, but you just open it up and that's where they are. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to do that. Sorry. Relax. There. There. Right. So, in the front here, we have a CD changer. Okay. This is the tool roll in here. Okay. Okay. They were, they were hitting us at that time. Really heavy, be careful. Whoa! Feel it, Bobby. Ow. Cool. I have a titanium wedding ring, but I never wear it. <laughs> I always forget it. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you. So there's no point in making a light car and putting a heavy tool kit in. Right. The interesting thing about these was that. Um, Back on our official supply of the tools, thought it was a bit of a joke making titanium tools. And then they got really enthused by the idea and they put these through their full durability test, full waste balance. So it's done a million cycles, you know what it is on and that. These are proper tools, they work. Wow. Is there anything else? Uh, so this place certificate, I get that on my end, Oh, is it? It doesn't come with a tool box. Yeah, tool box is That's the a tool box. It's all um, this is your, that's the car cover to go on the car. That's oh, it's the car is. cover, yeah. okay. This is your torque wrench. Torque wrench, wheel, excellent. Do the wheel nuts. Okay. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to use, but then okay. uh, what we have, each one, all the tools are in. Perfect. Um, and they're all held in, in place as they should be. So uh, you've got everything. everything. Now, the idea is that you don't use these. They're not oh, there for you to I'm use. an engineer, not a mechanic. <laughs> Big difference. So, these are for us if we come yeah. to you. Yeah, I'm not, no, no. I'm not going to know. So the way. exact point, as Dunk said, is if we do have to fly somebody out, we know exactly what tools they're going to find when we get there. Well, they'll find everyone right where they're supposed to be. Yeah. In here, here's your battery charger. Perfect. Uh, and there's a chamois leather, a couple of crown gloves, and some polishing cloth as well. Uh, and then the final uh, bits That's of the pieces. dentistry drawer, if you want to do any right. dentistry. A pair of scissors and everything. Uh, and bottom is the wheel nut socket and the adapter to fit onto the torque wrench. Super. Very good. Okay. Um, there is, the padlock is just here. There's actually a locking function inside so you can lock these. Okay. Um, and the key for the padlock is on the, uh, on your keyring. Okay. So there's, uh, there's a key there for the amount key, the fuel per cap key and the toolbox key. Excellent. I think that's it for now. Oh, and uh, I've read that these cars came with a tag watch. Can I buy one? Did this one come with it, or how's that work? The watch is usually kept by original owners. I see. Okay. We've hardly ever had a watch passed on. I see. And they're limited edition because there's only one per car. So the Can you contact is, the original owner and ask them if I could buy it from you? I've already asked him. He said no? no? That's all he's got left. That's why most owners keep it. Okay. I'm a watch collector. Okay. Uh, well, if you